Hey guys, what is up? I'm going to show you how to jack up a E90, E92, E93 M3 right now. Um, I struggled with this because I had to look for a bunch of YouTube videos and I found nothing that was useful. The only thing I could find was you need to buy this uh, BMW device, this block, which let me just get under the car and show it to you. Basically goes inside the jack points, which are right here. And it's a little plastic thing that goes inside the jack point. Um, and then you basically jack up from this thing. Now, it's a Sunday. Uh, the BMW dealers are closed. And I said, fuck it. I'll figure it out myself because I'm an entrepreneur. And we'll get to the bottom of it. So, I'll show you how to jack up your car without that stupid BMW accessory. I started with a, um, uh, I guess this is a 2 by, or sorry, a 1 by 6 Basically a, a, a piece of um, fence wood. So I just cut it, uh, made it as small as possible, and um, I tried to use that to jack up. Now the problem that I encountered as I started to lift the weight of the car, this car is 4,000 pounds, so it's a heavy pig. Um, it started to crack and make the kinds of sounds that you would expect wood to just buckle and disintegrate. So I wasn't comfortable with continuing, because I definitely didn't want the car to fall down and damage it. So I went and looking for a 2x4, and that solved the problem. The only thing was I had to take this thing off, which actually fit nicely and firmly in here once I got it on. And then you can see the weight of the car, um, just focus that, the weight of the car also imprints in the wood that way. So this is by far too thin uh, to use to jack up the car. But if you take this little, this little um, device out, some of them have a, uh, a C-clip pin in them, which I had to pull out. But they'll either unscrew out or you can pop them out. And that lowers the profile by about half an inch to an inch saving you a little bit of space. And then I went with a two by four, which worked just fine. So you just basically uh, center it on the circle, the imprint, which will balance it nicely. Uh, and this part over here doesn't really matter so much, but once you start jacking up the car, it'll, it'll compress the wood to start taking on the weight. So um, I'm gonna stop the video, just move it over, and I'll show you um, how that works in a second. It's a slight problem with the 2x4 is it is very, very snug to get in there. So I needed a rubber mallet to kind of tap it in to center it nicely. And you can see there that the um, the jack point is nicely centered under that plastic bit. Um, I don't know why BMW makes shitty ass jack points like that, but anyway, it's nicely centered. I just had to tap it in gently with this mallet. Um, I suspected that it was going to be a tight fit, so that's why I put a piece of wood under the rear tire just to kind of you know, get a little bit of lift under the car so I can get it in there. Now before you jack up your car, you're going to want to loosen the lug nuts. Anyway, so you're gonna need a torque wrench to loosen the bolts off. I'm working with one hand here. Um, you just wanna gently loosen them. Not so that they're gonna come off, but you're gonna loosen them in a pattern that goes in a star. So you're gonna go here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. Just a gentle loosen, maybe like a quarter turn. Jack it up and then you'll be able to just pop them off easily because it's very hard to um, unscrew those lug nuts if there's no pressure on the tire. Like sometimes the uh, wheel will just spin around while you're doing it. All right, so I've got the, um, the front summer on, just putting the last three lug nuts in. You notice with BMWs, um, you don't hang the wheel um, off the lug nuts like on most conventional cars. Like Japanese cars will always have the lug nuts on the, the rotor and you just kind of pop it on. Here there's a little hub-centric kind of ring that the uh, rim will sit on and you just have to line up the, the holes for the lug nuts. And then you put them in a, a star pattern again. So here, start here, this next one will go in here. I'm operating with one hand, of course. Hand snug it, throw your next one in. That goes in there. I need to get a GoPro headset for this kind of shit. And that goes in. And right here and you'll notice you know the wheel spins freely that's why I said before you want to loosen the lug nuts before you start jacking it right off the ground because otherwise you'll never get the thing loose the wheel will just spin in the air okay so that's done next step is you just kind of kind of lower it I'm gonna snug it on a little bit with the uh, torque wrench a little bit more and then uh, I'm gonna lower it so that this tire is touching on the ground so it doesn't spin freely but not holding the weight of the car and I'll snug them down again some more all right and that's pretty much it I've got the wheel on, it's lowered on the ground, the jack is out, and last step is to torque it down completely. Um, get yourself a torque wrench, they're usually about, I don't know, 70 to 80 bucks. 
Um, I set it to about 82 to 85 uh, foot pound. And these things are fairly simple. You just give them a push down, and when you hear that clicking sound, you know you've applied the right, sorry, the right amount of torque. Again, feel it again, and you start across to the next position, and that's it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's basically how you can uh, jack up your M3 and change tires, or I guess do any undercar work. Um, you know, if you want to buy that BMW piece, I don't know what they cost, but I didn't happen to have one. It was a Sunday, so I tried to improvise with that. That didn't work. Two by fours do work. That's it. Give the video a thumbs up if you dig it, guys. Subscribe to the channel if it's the first one. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Uh